on this Saturday morning. We'll tell you about that as we go through. Kai Thomas in the backfield. And play action on the first play from scrimmage. Morgan completes it. Daniel Jackson, the reception. Here with the Golden Gophers. And a handoff left side, bouncing through. Kai Thomas, big yardage. 11 more on first down. The stop by Kirby Joseph. The line of scrimmage at one time. Not used to seeing five wide. Morgan hit as he threw it, and it's picked off. Illinois forces the game's first turnover to Reek Barnes. And there was a sniffer in the middle of the field, which simply means kind of spying on Tanner Morgan. The pressure led to this tipped ball, the pressure up the middle, and Carney around the end and in the. Outstanding field position plus territory. Brandon Peters on the field, gets rid of it. Carlos Sandy. Reels in the pass at the 40, a nine-yard pickup. He was covered by Justin Wally. Got plenty of weapons at the line of scrimmage, just like Minnesota. Ask Penn State about it. Chase Brown with a burst and a first down. Chase Brown, far side rumble stopped by Gibbons. That's an 11-yard pickup. And we just showed that really good offensive line in for Illinois and has been productive all season long. He's put up enormous numbers, as you would expect a Brett Bielema running back to do. And they've got a couple in the backfield. Brown again to the edge. And ushered out short of the 20-yard line. Want to play bend but don't break and don't give up explosive plays. How about old school eye formation? Play action. Peters has a man wide open. Illinois on the move towards the pylon. And Luke Ford dives for it. A first look at the barge formation. Got linemen everywhere. Isaiah Williams to the edge with a cut and the touchdown. Well, his nickname, Little Uno, number one. He wears number one just like he has his entire life. And it's not, you don't get blue ribbons for turnovers or takeaways. You get blue ribbons for getting into the end zone after one. And every since then has been absolutely consistently good on the field from that point on. Pocket collapses. Morgan lost the handle for a moment and is going to be sacked back inside the 20-yard line. Roderick Perry, Owen Carney. About from Minnesota, the most starts collectively in the entire country. And this took a, a little bit of time, but it was more of the running back that didn't step up aggressively. Loss of five more yards, Irving the running back on third and 17. Illinois showing pressure. Now we'll back out of it. And a conservative call is Bucky Irving. That's a lot on the line of scrimmage. Brown the running back. Peters back in at quarterback. A nice cut and Brown will plow over one defender for a gain of four yards. Large percentage of the time and their mentality is to take that double team vertically to the second level. Not let it spread horizontally. Peters will keep it on second and five and Illinois on the move again then you obviously Brandon Peters can pull it and keep it off of that mid zone run barge back in play outside zone they'll stretch it out and there goes Brown another big gainer for Illinois all the way to midfield was banged up early in camp and then banged up periodically throughout the year got a shoulder against Maryland missed the Purdue game but as he's gotten healthier Roy he is he has the experience to kind of see the blocking better than McCray does the youngster right now and you can see it he's getting a good look at it early. Williams back in as the quarterback and the handoff straight ahead into plus territory. We've already seen the establishment of a very very solid run game. Williams remains the quarterback. And straight ahead. Second down and five. That should be enough to move the chains as we check in again with Laura. Sandy in motion. Peters wants to throw it, and he will. Pass is caught. That'll move the sticks. And the tight end, Daniel Barker, reels it in for our second quarter. Critical matchup in the Big Ten West. Play action for Peters. In zone. Wide open for the touchdown. Tip Ryman reaches pay dirt. First touchdown of the season and of the redshirt freshman's career. Perhaps a shocker in the Twin Cities. Illinois 14, Minnesota nothing, and Peters getting it done early. 
mean, let's it's, party like it's, it's a, 1985 or it's something. It's a work in progress, Fantastic. shall we say. Morgan play action. A lot happening on this play. And a first down as well. The pitch and the catch of the tight end span forward. He's got an increased presence, we expect, in this contest today. A big hole. And another first down as we send you back to the studio and Kevin Connors. Georgia behind. Is that what we heard? 7-3 right yeah, now, but yeah. it's close. We know that. Derek LeCaptain in at running back. And the pass will be caught by Co Keeft. Nine to go in our first half. Morgan again flush. Into the flats. Thomas makes one man miss and picks up a first down. Going from Irving back to Thomas. Blue pocket again for Morgan. And now they try to scramble out. Got happy feet brought down behind the line of scrimmage at the 49. So that looked like a coverage sack. Timeout to work with, approaching a minute to go. Play action. Morgan, flush, brought down at the 20. Lose about half a yard. Roderick Perry got there in time. Peters, hit, dropped, and sacked. Defensive coordinator Minnesota said, you know, we're kind of basic on first and second down. We're two high safeties, cover six, cover four. Keep it in front of us, bend but don't break. Play clock winding down. Morgan has it, the pump fake, and he's going to be sacked. All the way back at the 32-yard line. That one just felt uncomfortable of the defense and in the end the first look was taken away and Tanner Morgan hesitated and Illinois has consistently gotten pressure with either three or four getting after the quarterback. Casey Washington our best 50 50 ball guy. The contested catch we feel very confident he can make those. Chase Brown lays the lumber out of bounds. Golden Gopher fans, it's the last team that they want to hear about considering what happened. Minnesota's last loss of the season after four straight wins. Four four straight wins, and that's going to be another tackle behind the line. Johnny Newton, Calvin Avery, pick your poison. Up against it. Chris Ottman Bell is out. Who do you go to in the pass game? And that isn't who you are anyway offensively. You don't just decide to go five wide and throw it every down. Third and 23, the draw. Chase Brown. Get back close to the original line of scrimmage. Punt team will trot on the field for Illinois. With five to go. Minnesota has to have it right here and right now. Play action, Morgan. Pylon, touchdown, Minnesota. And the Golden Gophers are still in it. And Tanner Morgan has Minnesota still in it. Less than five to go. Doubting the football where he did at the two. 98 yards to tie it, plus a two-point conversion. Morgan heaves it deep. Pass is caught. Minnesota with life. Dalen Wright is running it dig route essentially a deep end good protection and right goes up and snatches this Tanner Morgan now 15 of 27 through the air for a buck 80 and the interception on the first possession of the game for the Golden Gophers backside pressure down he goes Isaiah Gay who else Owen Carney Keith Randolph all enormous afternoons on the road and actually, it was Kai Thomas was coming over there to help. Sam Schluster got beat, like, at the get-go. Very poor pass protection. And Kai Thomas, from his running back position. Morgan, deep toss, intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And that'll do it. Going right back to that big play they've already had on this drive. Dalen Wright was coming in on the dig route. This one was thrown too high. It was rush three, drop eight, create. And you talked about maybe the conservative game plan at one time by 
Illinois, but that's really how they're going to play. It's You're going to run right? the tar out of it. You're not going to make the big mistakes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.